Well, let me lighten the mood. Do I look like Gaetano? <laughs> <laughs> Did you see? Hey. China, Kosovo, Faroe Islands. In recent months, speculation has been rife that these countries and territories are eager to join the Eurovision family. And on December 18th, another country joined the mix. It was revealed that Kazakhstan's Kabar TV will become an associate member of the European Broadcasting Union from January 1st. Now, they're just an associate member, so they don't get automatic entry to Eurovision, but many people think this will pave the way for eventual participation or guest participation. This raises a natural question. Do you guys want to see Kazakhstan at Eurovision? Well, of course, why not? I mean, uh, they won Turkvision last year, I think, with uh, Janar Dugalova or whatever her name was in Kazakhstanese. So, uh, so they, they prove that they are, have an, an ambition to win and they have a good uh, pool for artists, so I think uh, it's a good thing. I think culturally they're more aligned with certain European countries than, say, China, who've also expressed an interest. They're obviously, they were part of the Soviet Union, so they have ties with um, Russia, and then they take part in Turk Vision, so they have the Turkish ties and with Azerbaijan and the other ex or the other countries in that region. I think they'd make they'd bring you'd hope that they'd bring an extra bit of ethno pop which has yeah. been missing in recent years. Um but obviously there'd probably be a lot of naysayers saying, Oh your your vision isn't your vision anymore, Kazakhstan is in Asia, blah de blah. So yeah, they bring out the haters again. Well, you know what? For me, the most important thing in participating in Eurovision is the will and the desire to do well. You look at countries like the UK, who get an automatic pass to the final, and they turn up with Electro Velvet. Whereas Kazakhstan, they have money behind them, they love pop music. I mean, on June 5th, they hosted the Muzz TV Awards, which is like the biggest music awards in Russia, and it was the first time it wasn't held in Moscow, it was held in Astana. We actually had a weebie vlogger there taking pictures. And Paulina Gagarina was there, Dima Balan, Philip Kerkorov, Cerebro, Annie Lorak. People go to Kazakhstan because it is a pop culture, pop music factory. They've got great bands like A Studio, who collaborated with Thomas Nevergreen on the song Falling for you. <laughs> it was amazing. I just think Kazakhstan would bring life and energy and love to the contest. And you know what? They qualified to join the Council of Europe. So, like, that's close enough. Australia, they're not in the Council of Europe. Yes, exactly. A lot of people argue that Australia has stronger connections to Eurovision because they've broadcast it. Well, Kazakhstan has broadcast it as well. A final point, you guys. Turkey withdrew from the contest, so we lost that Turkic energy and influence. And you've got Azerbaijan, of course, but they always, you know, outsource their song to Sweden. So I think having Kazakhstan would bring back that ethno-pop pouring talked about. I mean